Hi there and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today and joining us for this episode and we've got another unboxing for you today and I'm very pleased to say it's the uh, Tamiya Super Sabre re-release for 2023 so I've um, been waiting for this one so uh, yeah can't wait to get stuck into it. Uh, it's kit uh, 58728 and it comes with a pre-painted and cut body shell which we'll get into uh, when we have a look at it so yeah faithfully the box art is pretty much the same as the original release from uh, 1987 so that's good and uh, yeah uh, a lot of people have been waiting for the uh, super saver because we've had the boomerang a few times and uh, this wasn't announced at the same time this was announced after the release of the boomerang and as i said i think in other videos um i if i would have probably just waited for the super saver if i'd known that was coming out um uh, but because it wasn't um or not it wasn't knowledge at the time i got the boomerang uh as, but look, that was still cool i did enjoy that so obviously this is going to be quite a similar build because it's the same uh chassis via uh, you know bar sorry the, the body shell and um the the red accents on some of the kit parts and like the red oil sharks and, and stuff like that anyway uh, so we'll, we'll do a, a pretty quickish unboxing or i'll try i'll say it'll be quick and it'll just go on <laughs> as long as any other i suppose but we'll we'll give it a go um so i say yeah that's the box and we'll have a look inside now um i think you know if you are a fan of box art tammy is or you uh, you know you want to want to relive uh your youth as well and you want the car to oh, I've dropped the box um if you want the the buggy to look uh, as it did um back in the, the 80s then uh, going this way with the pre-painted body uh, will suit you for me personally I don't like to clear body um but it isn't the end of the world because you can get repro bodies so I can only do another body and I was even thinking of putting a winger body on this as well uh, and doing it like that Doing this one up as pretty much per box and then getting a winger body later on and, and doing that to it. Anyway, so manual for the Super Saber. I always want to call it a Saba as well. So many times I've called it Saba. Don't lie. Anyway, Super Saber manual. The body shop. This is, you know, if you've watched uh, re releases of the, uh, the Boomerang uh, being unboxed, it is pretty much the same thing. So the main thing really is that body shell, which I've already had open because I was looking at something on it. Um, so we'll put the body shell there for a minute and we'll see what else you get. Right, so you've got your uh, chassis cover, chassis protector there. We have got some, uh, I think there are the rear, upper and lower wishbones by the uh, looks of it. Wheels, the white uh, wheels that are on the boomerang, the hot shot, and uh, yeah, obviously the super saver as well. Now, because really, with it being a box art, you know, painted car, and it's going to look quite box art, I wanted to still put my own bit of a, a t uh, slant on it or a bit of my own personal touch. So, um, what I've done is this time. I am keeping, I usually I changed all the wheels and tyres on them, but I'm going to keep the tyres this time that come in the kit. And what I've done is ordered a rather nice set of, um, they're slightly different to these, but they are a lovely set of alloy wheels for this. Uh, because uh, in hindsight, uh, when I had the Blockhead uh, Hot Shot 2, it, that came with the silver uh you know the chrome plated wheels and uh if i kept them i could use them on this so if you're watching damien i'll have them back now <laughs> i'm only joking um no so um what i thought i'd do is i'd uh i'd get this uh, set of nice machined alloy wheels that i've seen and uh i've ordered them so hopefully they'll come in time for when i, I do the running video on this i don't know but i am looking forward to uh, to getting them yeah, 1060 based ESC. Right, let's pull all these other parts out. Mm, tires, 
your oval block and pin spike tyres. I'm going to just get the rest of these out and then I'm going to uh, get rid of the box. <laughs> it's, uh, I say it's in the way, it's, it's a bit cumbersome on the table, I suppose. Uh, right, let's get rid of that for the minute. Okay, there are your decals for the kits as well. So there's not tons of decals on this, which personally I like. <laughs> but um, yeah, not tons of decals, but uh, yes, you uh, get them there. So that's cool. As I said, tyres. Yeah. The chassis tub. Ooh. Front and rear gearbox halves there. Uh, yeah, front bumper, uh, wheel uh, wheel hubs as well, and that's part of the battery retaining clips as well. There actually, I'm looking on there. I should know. I've already built one, isn't it? Um, uh, battery uh, retaining door there. You've got the uh, front and lower. Wishbones as well, servo posts, red bits. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these here obviously uh, are obviously the uh, anti roll bar stay, uh, tower, I think is that the rear tower on there? Yeah, rear shot tower, rear hubs, battery, yeah, uh, it's got the, one, the battery retainers at the side there as well. So they're on there, so that's the, the nice little red parts that come with this. And uh, I'm guessing in here will be the usual uh, motor mount. Get a motor mount, motor cam, which will be a 540. Now, I, I won't be keeping a 540 cam motor in here. I might have to to start with, I don't know, I'll have to see what I've got. But, um, yeah. So these are uh, red alloy, uh, red alloy, I've got alloy in the brain. Uh, red CVA uh, dampers. They are very much like the newest style, but um, in red. Gears, all important driver figure and servo. Front, more shock parts there. And you've got your uh, front steering knuckles. A part spag. So um, you've got your thrust bearings. There's a couple of bearings in there. Bevel gears. Two choices of pinion gear, so I'll keep to the 15 tooth if I'm running a bit of a, oh, a hotter motor. B parts bag, so uh, drive shafts, plastic bushes, gearbox joint screw pins in there. C bag, uh, damper oil, shock pistons, springs, track rod ends. And then in the D bag, Prop shafts, you get two, front anti-roll bar, thread lock, wheel nuts, and then e-bag, which has got some sponge tape and some little uh, washers in, I think they're for the body actually, and some body pins, and then the uh, your silver can motor, which hopefully we won't be using. Right, so there you go. Put that there. Also, as I said, because it's going to be pretty much a box art car i wanted to sort of give my own uh sort of put my own stamp on it i told you about the alloy machine wheels i'm getting for this now it's not really your own stamp is it but we've got a set of bearings for the build as well which is essential i've got some little red nuts Ooh. a little red uh, alloy wheel nuts there that will go on there i think they'll stand out quite nicely and i've got a can of paint now if you saw my uh a squash fan, Tammy a squash fan video, and uh, what else have we done in the past? And also the Tammy Egress and the Boomerang actually in the past. I have tinted the windows on them, um, just because I fancy doing it. Now, if this car hadn't come with a pre-painted body shell, I probably wouldn't have bothered actually. But because it does, and I said I want to give it my own little bit of uh, my own touches to it, I did think, well, I've got some red translucent paint here, so I'm going to tint. The cockpit window in red. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. 
um, it may look absolutely awesome um, on the flip side it might not but we'll see but I just fancied doing it just to uh, give it a bit more of a, a personal touch now we actually haven't looked at the body yet because I haven't taken it out so that's the uh, bottom of the uh, the rear spoiler in there and the rear shock to poke out there as well I'm not going to take that out but there it is so that is your super saver body shell nicely cut out trimmed and painted so that's cool excellent stuff saves my wife a job <laughs> which i'm sure she'll be happy so yeah uh, loving that i do like this body as i said i, I did prefer it over the boomerang um, it's very sort of like 80s and space age looking and i suppose that of its time but yeah i love it i love the super saver body uh, put it there maybe a little after transformer maybe there. anyway um so yeah love it absolutely love that right let's uh we'll we'll i'll spread these parts out a little bit and then you can uh, i'll bring the camera over and can have a little bit of a closer look and i'm pretty much right in saying this has not been a quick unboxing at all and um, we're back to our usual uh sport length of our video so i do apologize um i was gonna say uh, if you haven't seen the boomerang one i'll put the link into this description as well and also if you haven't if you've sort of like uh, not seen the last few videos we've done it's been pretty busy recently we've had the unboxing of the rc10 um classic clear edition so we'll uh, i'll put that up as well and uh, the squash van which i did and also the uh, fdx gladius crawler as well so we'll uh, get all them up for you in the links and you can check them out if you haven't already now also while i'm doing this as well uh, i've got to say again a huge thanks to inside line models uh, getting this kit to me pre-ordered it as soon as i heard that the uh, super saver was coming out it's like i need one of those um so i need to do that so uh, got my order in so cheers to paul and the inside line models team again for getting this kit to me much appreciated i really help appreciate all the help um, that you've given to the channel so thanks a lot also as well i know i've said it a few times but they have uh, generously given a 5% discount code for you to use on their online store, which you can use at www.insidelinemodels.com. Just use AndyRC5 and they'll get you 5% off throughout the uh, online store. So do uh, make use of it. Right, I think we're sort of there, aren't we? Uh, decals, da -da -da. okay. Put that back there and the shelf can sit there okay you have to let me know am i mad to go and paint it the uh, cockpit with the red translucent i think it's going to be quite cool but we'll see won't we uh right let's get the camera over and we'll have a quick pan over stuff Ta -da. right let's go starting at this end of the table you see the standard cam 540 motor you've got your e-bag d-bag there and c parts bags with various prop shafts anti-roll bars um shock pistons springs in there damp oil then you've got the a parts bag it's got a lot of the uh, gearbox internals in and then you've got the uh, b parts with the uh, drive shafts as well and parts for the front uh, suspension in the top again you can see you've got the red steering knuckles and the red um cva shock parts as well panning down there you can see all the red accents as i said you've got your rear hubs shock tower and um, battery stays and uh, anti-roll bar what do you call it anti-roll bar um, mount as well panning there now it looks like we've got hubs the plastic hubs for the uh, wheels and we've got the front bumper eternal gearbox gears and then you've got the battery retainer there gearbox housings chassis tub i'm sure you're all familiar with this now uh, new tires new tires in the bag and the wheels which we are changing out 1060 based esc chassis cover and you've got your driver figure and your uh, upper 
and bottom rear wishbones. Uh, I've knocked that somehow, which wasn't the plan. And uh, say so that's your Super Sabre decal sheet. I'm going to actually attempt to get the body done today as well. Maybe start the build tomorrow. That's the kind of translucent red I'm going to do, use for the windows. So if I get it done today, I'll try get a picture of the body shop. The body uh, up later, we will see. That's that gorgeous shell. I'm going to flip that round here so I can see it a bit better. Oh, yes. How nice does that look? And then you, the, the bottom of the uh, rear spoiler where the uh, shocks poke through as well. And, of course, your manual. Right. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, I say, quick look. It, but it wasn't really a quick look. But I hope you enjoyed uh, checking uh, this one out. Again, if you've missed some of our other videos, a massive thanks to everyone who supported Andy Robinson RC over this past year and before. All our viewers and subscribers, it's much appreciated. All our sponsors as well, uh, Inside Line Models, massive thanks to them again. Uh, so, yeah, great stuff. Also, also, as well, big shout out to all the other YouTubers as well that are producing all this awesome uh, content that they do as well. Um, so massive thanks to them as well. I always enjoy, I say I always enjoy watching their channels. I do, but increasingly in the minute, I'm finding it very difficult to do that. Uh, mainly because of a newborn baby. That just uh, become a little bit of a, an issue, I suppose. But um, you are all appreciated. Keep doing what you're doing. And okay, I make my apologies for not being able to comment all the time at the minute. Uh, it's quite difficult a lot of the time. So yeah, anyway, I'll stop rambling. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas or holidays whichever you prefer to celebrate this probably is my last video until after christmas and uh, we shall see but uh, yeah i say if you haven't already please go and check out www.insidelinemodels.com uh, give them a nosy fantastic uh, shop and website right i'm definitely going now if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel at andy robinson rc on youtube and of course come find us on instagram and on Facebook under Andy Robinson RC. Right, gonna love you and leave it. Look after yourselves and take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye.